Hi, this is JJ at CCBC. In this video, we'll look at how to scale objects in your Flash animations. The major topics we'll cover are the free transform tool, and the software I'm using in this video is Adobe Flash Creative Suite version 6 on a Mac. So, one quick review, Flash Animation Basics, create your vector shape, convert it to a symbol, apply your motion tween, apply a change. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do here is I want to create an explosion. So I'm going to pick some colors for my explosion. Red seems appropriate. And I'm going to create an oval that will be used as my explosion. So I'm going to hold shift and make a perfect circle. And this will act as my explosion. I'm going to center it a little better on the stage. And what I'm going to do is use the stipple effect for my line and I'm going to make my stroke thicker so it looks like debris from the explosion. That'll work pretty good. Uh, now that I've created my vector shape, convert it to a symbol. I'll just call this explosion. It's already a movie clip, so I can hit OK. I'll apply my motion tween. Um, I'm not going to spread it out very far. Explosions happen very quickly, so at 24 frames per second, I'll do 35 frames. It's just under a second and a half for this explosion to take place. So now all I need to do is scale my explosion. I can do that using the free transform tool. I'll click and drag. I'm going to hold shift to keep the aspect ratio the same. And I'm actually going to scale my explosion bigger than the stage itself. So it goes off stage. And then I'm going to go back to frame one and I want my explosion to start really, really small. So I'm going to scale it down. And then I can zoom in. I'm going to go to 800% and scale it down even smaller. So really tiny. I can go back to regular view, 100%. Deselect my object. And now you notice my explosion. It's barely a single pixel on the screen. So if I test this movie, Command Return, that's pretty good makes a nice explosion effect so you can see scaling an object bigger and you can reverse this process to create um, an object scaling smaller. I want to show you one more technique you can use with scaling so let's make a new file. Okay and what I'm gonna do here is type some text so let's go to our text tool and we'll put a message in here And let's make that a little bit bigger. So we'll highlight our text. And make the text not as big as the screen. There we go. And we'll position it on the center of the stage. And that's the text we're going to work with. OK, so the technique is this. I'm going to make a shape that covers up this text. And I'm going to scale the shape smaller to reveal the text. So I am need to make a new layer that is going to be my shape or sort of a mask effect to cover it up. In order to see it better, for now I'm going to change the background color to a light gray. And I'm going to change it back to white. So I'm going to make my, my mask white. So I'll select a white fill color. And I really don't need a stroke color for this. So I'm going to turn off the stroke color by selecting this white box with a red line through it and that turns off the stroke. It's kind of like no smoking, no parking. It just means no stroke color. And I'll use the rectangle tool to make a box that's going to cover up my text. So that's big enough. Boom. Okay, so I can now convert that to a symbol that I'm going to animate. I'll just call this white box. It's already a movie clip, so I'll hit OK. And now I have a shape that I can animate. So let's create a motion tween. I'm going to spread it out pretty long. I want it to really slowly reveal my message. And I'm actually going to hide this box for a second. So let's hide this layer. And you'll notice my message has disappeared. My message only exists in frame 1. In frame 2 through 150, there is no message. So what I need to do is add more frames in the timeline here. So my message is visible all the way through my animation. So at the end of my animation, I'm just going to right click and insert a regular frame. I'm not animating the text, so I don't need a keyframe. Regular frame is just fine. So by inserting a frame, I've now carried that message all the way through my timeline 
in that bottom layer. So let's reveal our white box again. So here's our white box to work with. I'm going to go to the end of the timeline. At the beginning, I want it covering everything up. By the end, I want it to reveal the text. So I'm going to use the free transform tool, select our box, and I'm going to scale it. Now you'll notice if I scale horizontally, it scales around that rotation point. Okay, now this isn't the effect I want. I want it to actually reveal from left to right, not from side to side into the center. So what I'll do here, let me undo that move. I'm going to move this rotation point all the way to the right side. And now when I scale, I can grab this left side and scale it all the way over to the right. And that'll slowly reveal my text. Okay, so before I change the background of my movie back to solid white, I'm going to run this so you can actually see the white box clearly from the background. And then we'll change the background to white so you can see the desired effect. So we'll test this real quick. And you can see how it's revealing the text real slowly as that box scales. Well, if I change the background to match the color of the box, you can't see it anymore. And the effect is some text is magically revealed on the screen, which is a, a really creative way to use scaling for a really interesting visual effect. So I hope you learned something in this video. I'll see you in the next one.